Okay, we're here to go over addition of fractions with like and unlike denominators. I'm going to start with a super, super easy one. It's all set up here. You've got like denominators of 11, so you just need to bring your 11 over and add 6 plus 3, and you're at 9 over 11. And I'll finish because that does not need to be reduced. Now, our next one, we do not have like denominators. We have a 7 and a 5. So we want to see what the LCD is. And for this fraction, it just happens to be that we just need to multiply 7 times 5, because that's the least common, that's the least common multiple that they have. So we're going to multiply the 4 7 by 5, and then we're going to multiply the 3 fifths by 7. So 5 times 4 is 20, and then 5 times 7 is 35. Plus, multiply this side by 7, we're going to get 21 over 35. Now we have like denominators, so we can add straight across. 20 plus 21 is 41. Now I think this is an acceptable answer, but you could also have 1 and 6 over 35. When you get into graphing, you're going to want to leave your answer in this form, because you never graph points like 1 and 6 35ths. It just doesn't happen. Okay, let's do some mixed fractions. Okay, let's do 3 and 1 12 plus 2 and 5 over 12. Common denominators, we're adding. Just go straight across with all your numbers. Add your whole numbers. 3 plus 2 is 5. 1 plus 5 is 6. Bring over your 12. And now before we finish, we have to reduce that because the first step you should see, or first clue you should see, is both of these are even numbers. If both numbers are even in a fraction, they're a minimum reducible by 2. And it just so happens that 6 happens to be half a dozen. So our answer is 5 and 1 half. Let's do some mixed fractions with unlike denominators. 8 and a fifth plus 2 and a third. Let's find our least common multiple. In case you need some quick lesson on least common multiples, I'd like to make a little chart. Greatest of charts, but it'll suffice. Okay. So here we've got 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 4 is 12, 3 times 5 is 15. 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 3 is 15. This is our first match, 15. Okay? 5 and 3, granted, is a little bit easier to see. I wouldn't need the chart, but for future reference, if you have some odd numbers, this is a good way. Make your chart, have your multiple up here, and just go down the line until you get a match. So here we have 15. So I'm going to multiply both of these by 3. You'll notice that I don't advocate the 41 over 5 method plus the 7 over 3 method. I, I don't do that. I just don't like it. I think it's unnecessary. You feel free to do that. So I do 8, multiply these by 3, 3 over 15, plus 2. Then I multiply these by the 5 to get 5 over 15. Now we're in that position to work horizontally. 8 plus 2 is 10, 3 plus 5 is 8, and bring over your 15. And that is in reduced form. Thanks. Good luck.